Is a type 8 civilization like a god to us? If we ever become a type 8 civilization, could we manipulate everything from dimensions to time itself? Now, this leads to some big questions. First off, do these super advanced alien civilizations actually exist? And if they do, could they be here among us? Maybe hiding in plain sight. And if they're out there but not here, why aren't they making contact? To understand this, we need to look back at how the idea of Type 8 civilizations came about. It started about seven decades ago when scientists started thinking seriously about the possibility of aliens, especially with all the stories about UFOs around places like Area 51. Then, they needed a scale to measure how advanced these aliens might be. So, back in 1964, researcher Nikolai Kardashev came up with a scale where he sorted them into three types, type one, type two, and type three, based on how they use energy. So what's the category of our civilization? You'd be surprised to know it's just type zero. Kardashev said it would take about 9,000 years for us to control a massive amount of energy, which would make us a type three civilization. But scientists didn't just stop there. They up with even more types like type four, five, six, and seven. This shows how big our imaginations are. Carl Sagan, a famous scientist, checked our energy use and found out we're not very efficient at all. Physicist Michio Kaku thinks that by the year 2371, we might become a type one civilization. That means we'd use all the energy on our planet and we'd be efficient at things like nuclear power and using renewable energy. We'd also spread out across our solar system and work together as one big group. But there are big challenges ahead, especially in the next 120 to 200 years. If we act fast and smart, we might reach even higher levels and maybe even become a type seven civilization. Yes, it's true. Scientist Stephen Hawking once said that we need to find other planets to live on because Earth's condition is getting worse. If we use better technology like nuclear fusion, we might get to type one faster. We could even build cool stuff like Dyson spheres to get energy from the sun. These spheres are basically giant megastructures that could wrap around a star to harness all its energy. They're like a super powerful energy source for really advanced civilizations to get unthinkable amounts of power for spacefaring societies. But creating a Dyson sphere means we are in type two civilization where we are supposed to capture all the energy from a whole star. But right now, this is a distant dream. However, what if it's not a distant dream for alien civilizations? There are some interesting things out there, like Tabby's star, which behaves strangely. Its light dims in weird ways that we can't explain easily. Some scientists think it could be because of something like a Dyson sphere built by an advanced civilization. If a civilization could build a Dyson sphere, they'd have so much energy that they could do incredible things. They could even control things like gravity and make their own black holes and wormholes. Type II civilizations could live in entire star systems, changing planets to fit their needs and moving things like asteroids around. Then there are Type III civilizations, which are even more mind-blowing. They could control things like gravity and travel between galaxies super fast, maybe even faster than light. They'd make galaxies their playgrounds, shaping stars and using crazy things like black holes for storing energy. Reaching such advanced levels may be distant, perhaps millions of years away. These civilizations might remain unseen, hiding, or yet to emerge. There's speculation about a type four civilization, surpassing current imagination. Things are getting even crazier when people start talking about a type five civilization using energy from other universes to do cool stuff like jumping between dimensions, teleporting, and time traveling. And it gets even wilder when they discuss a type six civilization that can go beyond space and time, making and destroying whole universes whenever they feel like it. Basically, they'd be like super gods. 
Now just imagine humans evolving into a Type 7 civilization. They become immortal and figure out all the universe's secrets. They use fancy technology to explore special pocket dimensions that they make by bending space and time. Each of these pockets is like a whole new world to discover with different landscapes and creatures. Remember this scene? It's more like that. And here's the crazy part. In these pocket dimensions, they can program every tiny bit of matter to make sure they last forever. The Omega civilization, for example, can zip around dimensions like it's no big deal. They've totally mastered time and space and turned into pure energy beings. Maybe there's already a higher civilization and some of their people are already around us. Maybe sometimes they intervene in our lives, but even if it happens, our brain won't understand that it's happening. For example, the Great Pyramid has puzzled people for ages because no one knows exactly how it was built so perfectly long ago. Some think there might have been super smart civilizations before us who could do things like changing planets, creating life, and traveling through space fast. Maybe they had to leave their home planet due to a disaster or war, leaving behind strange things like pyramids and sunken cities. Or maybe the Earth is simply a laboratory for some massive experiment and the humans are guinea pigs in there for them. Who knows? Do you think it can be true? Or do you think one day we'd become a Type 8 civilization? Join the conversation in the comments below and share your thoughts. And don't forget to subscribe for more thought-provoking content on the future of humanity. Thanks for watching.